Greetings! In my last video, I showed you how to put larger screens on a GoTech floppy emulator equipped with Flash floppy software. Screens above 2 inches seem to always be set up for the SPI protocol, yet the GoTech and some Arduino and Raspberry Pi applications require I2C. Some information about this is outdated and confusing, so I figured I would make a video on how to convert a common 2.4 inch OLED display from SPI to I2C and show you how to connect it to a GoTech. For those of you who want to use these large displays on Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, the conversion is likely the same, but you'll have different connections than what I demonstrate in the latter half of this video. I will be demonstrating the operation on a DIY More 2.42 inch OLED screen based upon the SSD1309 chipset. It is a 128 by 64 pixel monochrome display. Check the description of this video for an Amazon link for the screen. So on to the mod. It is a simple modification, but soldering skills are required. At a bare minimum, a soldering iron is required. However, because you will be desoldering an SMD resistor, a reflow heat gun is recommended. If you don't have one, I suggest using solder braid to wick the solder away from the SMD joints of said resistor, and then patiently try to lift the resistor while heating the remaining solder. I'm big on diagrams, and here's one that I made to help us out. The red text indicates the modifications needed for the I2C conversion. The blue text is the connections required for the GoTech application. The board itself has the common mods silk screen right onto it, but they are not too clear. Start by moving the resistor in the R4 position to the R3 position. The next step is to add a zero ohm resistor to R5. I don't have any, so I will use wire to short the pads. In case you didn't know, a zero ohm resistor is a dead short, so shorting the pins is all you need to do. There is an additional connection we need to make for the GoTech and some Arduino applications. We need to short the pins of R7 as well. It is not documented well, but I believe it shorts the CS pin to ground for those applications that do not need or have a CS connection. So basically, if your host device does not use a CS connection, you probably need to short R7. That concludes the modifications needed. This board is now set up for the I2C protocol. Here we have the four standard I2C connections and a reset line to connect. The four I2C connections are VCC, Ground, SDA, and SCL. Connect these as you would any I2C display. You can see the connections for the GoTech here. The reset line was a surprise to me and I had trouble finding information on it. Suffice it to say your host device should have a reset pin and you should connect RES on the OLED board to it. That's it for the connections. Let's give it a try. You can see that only two lines of text are displayed by the GoTech. The Flash Floppy firmware is capable of displaying up to four lines, and you can customize what information it displays. I show you how to do this on my previous video, so click my thumbnail to check my channel out.
That's it for this video, and we'll see you on the next one.